Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in the last tutorial, we have learned about the operator overloading. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn, you know, how to define the operator function outside the class by using the scope resolution operator. And also we're going to learn how to overload the negative or the minus operator in C++. All right, I have the code from the previous tutorial where we know we have a class called marks and we have two members called int mark for internal marks and ext mark for external mark. And we had a constructor, you know, a default constructor which was initializing those two members to a value of zero. And we have another user defined constructor in you know, which was taking some values and initializing the members of our class. And then we had a method, you know, which is going to print out the value stored in the members and we have overloaded the plus operator and we have defined this operator function inside this class. So here in this tutorial, we're going to overload the minus or the negative operator and we're going to do that outside this class by using the scope resolution operator. So here, you know, outside this class definition, outside this class marks, all of us know that you know if you want to define a method outside the class by using the scope resolution operator first you need to specify the return type of that method so here also you know we need to specify the return type of the operator function you know which is marks because you know we are going to use this operator minus to create a new object by subtracting the values of other two objects so here is going to be the return type first which is marks and then all of us know that you know we need to refer to the method by using the class name then the scope resolution operator so here the name of the class is marks and then the scope resolution operator and then we need to write this operator keyword and then the minus because you know we are overloading the negative operator and then a pair of parentheses and between that parentheses we need to specify the parameters taken so here it's going to take a parameter of type marks and let's call it as em and then we need to define the body of our operator function for this operator minus so here is similar to the definition of this operator plus that's why i'm going to copy the body of this operator function for plus and I'm going to paste that here and we just need to change this one to minus and here also and uh, okay okay now here in our tutorial I'm going to create another object and let's call it as marks and m4 and this m4 is going to contain the value of m1 minus m2 and then we're gonna call the m4 dot display so it's gonna be m4 dot display right now i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this program all right we have a error okay that's because you know we haven't declared this operator function in our class definition so we need to do that so here after the definition of this operator plus i'm gonna write the return type of this operator minus which is marks and then the operator keyword and then minus symbol and then in parenthesis we need to specify the parameters which is going to be marks and then add the semicolon so just similar to the declaration of methods you know we are declaring the operator here all right now if i save this and build and run this program all right now you guys can see we got um, 40 and 60 that's from this em3 dot display and then we got 20 and 20 minus 20 and minus 20 that's from this em4 dot display that's because 10 minus 30 is equal to minus 20 and uh, 20 minus 40 equal to minus 20 so here if you want you guys can change this one to m2 minus m1 and at that time we'll get the positive values so i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this and now you guys can see 20 and 20 and also here you know while defining the 
operator function for this operator negative or the minus operator and this plus operator we are passing only one parameter and our operator is working on two operands so here what happens is you know when we use this m1 plus m2 the m1 object is going to call this operator function so that's why you know this m1 will be the current object here and that will be passed automatically by the c++ and this m2 will be passed to this operator function and that will be copied to this variable if your operator function is a member of the class then you don't need to pass two parameters you just need to pass only one parameter if this operator function is a friend function of this class at that time we need to pass two parameters and i'm going to teach you that in the upcoming tutorials this is it guys this is about defining the operator function outside the class definition by using the scope resolution operator and uh, thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial